So I wanted to start off today's show by giving you eight tips for your school's next investment in production technology. We're going to talk about adding cameras. We're going to add, talk about controllers. We're going to talk about auto tracking. We're going to talk about CMSs and LMSs. We're going to talk about going mobile. We're going to talk about upgrading your current pr production system, adding a replay, and then we're going to give you one last uh, push about NDI and how far it has come. So let's get right into it. Tip number one. I highly recommend if you were using webcams or you have a single PTZ camera, now is the perfect time to invest in more PTZ cameras or more box cameras. Uh, the prices of PTZ cameras have come down so much over the past couple of years. You can get a PTZ camera from Bird Dog for less than $900 now, and you can get box cameras. Uh, for even cheaper than that. So this is the perfect time. And just adding one or two more cameras to your, you know, your auditorium or to your sports production can really elevate that production value. So tip number one, invest in more cameras to enhance your production. Tip number two, if you already have a PTZ camera or you are looking to get multiple PTZ cameras, I would also recommend investing in a PTZ controller. And just like PTZ cameras and box cameras, the prices of uh, controllers has come down dramatically over the past years, uh, few years. And now you can get controllers that do every kind of control protocol. You can get controllers that do RS-232, RS-422, NDI, Sony Visca, Pelco P, Pelco D, you know, all a lot of the controllers on the market now are able to use a wide a variety of control protocols in order to get uh, connected with your PTZ camera. And so even if you are using a PTZ camera that is a couple years old and you're getting new cameras, you can get something like the P PTZ Optic Superjoy or maybe even the Bird Dog KVD controller and you can utilize both the NDI and the new cameras and also some of the older uh, control protocols like RS-232 or RS-422 to be able to control both your old cameras or legacy cameras and new and modern cameras. So tip number two, invest in a controller if you are using a PTZ um, setup. Tip number three, um, when you are looking at PTZ cameras, the good thing is a lot of PTZ cameras include auto tracking. Now we touched upon this the other day, um, but basically any, any amount of stress or worry that you can alleviate from a teacher is going to make your production that much better. They can focus on teaching while the camera can focus on keeping your, uh, your teacher in frame or in focus or properly exposed. So tip number three is not just looking into auto tracking, but it's also just more in general, being able to rely on the automatic features of PTZ cameras and just cameras in general as they come out. Um, these automatic features for white balance, exposure, focus, auto tracking, all of these PTZ cameras come with uh, these features now. So now is the time to invest in auto tracking PTZ cameras. Tip number four, we touched upon this on uh, day one when we were talking with George Birchall. Invest in a CMS or LMS system, something that will integrate with something like the Epifan Pearl systems to be able to manage and distribute your content for your students to be able to get them all to be able to watch your, uh, your lessons. You can do quizzes in these, you can do uh, analytics, see who watched and how long they watched, make sure that the students are um, you know, watching the lessons. And then also it just gives, it makes it that much easier for your students to be able to re-watch all of the content if they want to you know, get a better understanding of what you taught that day, they can go back and watch the lesson all over again. Tip number five is go mobile. There are so many mobile options on the market now to be able to take something like a Yolo Box Ultra or a Yolo Box Extreme, take it out into the football field or the lacrosse field or wherever and easily and quickly be able to connect a couple HDMI cameras to it. Um, and then do your switching on the go. Um, the Yolo Box Extreme in particular has eight HDMI inputs on it. And 
You can pair that with something like the Netgear M4250 switches, like the desktop switch. Uh, you can pair that with the Yolo Box Extreme, which can also have eight NDI HX sources connected to it at the same time. And then with the Yolo Box Extreme, you can take the HDMI out. You can plug that into something like a LiveView Solo Pro or a KiloView P3, which we will talk about later on in the show. And then now you can use cellular bonded uh, encoding to be able to get your feed out to the world uh, from anywhere. So you can have all of these items fit within a backpack and do not be afraid to do live streaming on the go. Uh, this is the perfect time to start investing into portable live production systems. Tip number six, if you are using something that only had one or two cameras connected to it, maybe it is time to invest into a larger production system. Um, something like a TriCaster, something like the Pearl 2, something like a Liberty X workstation or the Cairo station that we talked about yesterday. You know, with utilizing NDI and AV over IP, you can have your main production system be in a singular spot. And this can be a production system that you can have 16, 20, 40 cameras connected to it if need be. And then that's your primary uh, workstation. And maybe it is time to upgrade your workstation. You can give us a call if you want to update your TriCaster or if you're using a Wirecast gear, maybe it's time to update that as well. Um, absolutely feel free to give us a call, 800-323-2325, and we will be able to find the right production system for your workflow. Tip number seven, we talked about this yesterday with Chris Burgos, and that is if you are doing sports production, it, this is a perfect time as well to get into um, instant replay. You have the three-play system from, uh, from VizRT, Roland has uh, instant replay systems. Grass Valley also has instant replay systems. And while you're at that, a lot of these replay systems allow you to do uh, graphic overlays. And I'm just gonna throw it in there again. If you like the graphics that we're using, uh, we're actually using VizFlowix to do our graphics. Uh, so maybe that is another investment tip is to invest into a graphics program, something like VizFlowix. The last thing that I want to say is invest in NDI. As we talked about yesterday and on Tuesday, and we will continue to talk about with our guests, NDI is not going anywhere. It is becoming the standard uh, when it comes to live streaming. And also, even if you just want to be able to record uh, school plays or whatever, something like that, you can have your PTZ cameras connected to your network and then get something like a Kiloview Cube R1, which we'll talk about in just a few minutes here, um, and be able to record all of your shows, even if you are going to be putting that into a nonlinear editor like Premiere or Avid or whatever, um, you can still utilize NDI to get all of that even if you're not live streaming. So being able to combine legacy equipment plus modern NDI, um, you know, cameras that have NDI built into them, uh, cannot recommend it enough. Absolutely take advantage of NDI and uh, having your video be accessed from anywhere on the network. 